Good morning guys. Welcome back to the outdoors. It's Friday 23rd of April 2023. Um, I brought it out this morning to show you voila my chest rig. Um, I've had loads and loads and loads of questions about it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everything, right? Everyone's asking me about it. And it's an amazing product, guys. I'll show you everything I pack inside there and on the outside of it. It's reasonably priced. I'd say it's a budget chest rig. Okay? I'll go through all the stats. I'll tell you the brand name everything about it now um yeah i would definitely call this a budget a budget brand okay they've got many other chest rigs for different situations you know we've got a first aid one etc etc this is a tactical one i'll run through absolutely everything with you now let's get started okay <clears throat> so this brand name is Wynex. W Y N E X, okay. It's on Amazon, and this one here you're looking at today is the Y N X Tactical Chest Rig. It comes in three colours. It comes in black, great for security work or even your police work. It comes in green, like you see here in front of you, and it also comes in a tan colour. It cost me, guys, it cost me £18.99, believe it or not. As I said, no disrespect to Winex. I think they're doing something outstanding. They put in something out there that uh, I think I think we can all afford. Us out, outdoor guys, because uh, cause we're outdoor guys, we're active. So that means we go to work and things, so... I think we can afford this one, guys. There are other ones out there. Better, I'm not saying. But then, uh, you're forking out a lot of money. So it's in the clamshell design, guys. I'll show you all that now, okay? The straps. Let me show you the back. There's the back, guys. The, sh the straps are fully adjustable, okay? So any size chest you are, I'm a 48 inch chest and uh, as you can see I've had to put sniper tape on because it's ample strappage, okay? It's ample strappage. You know, you don't have to put it on your chest, you guys, you can put it on your burger or whatever. On your bicycle, on your bicycle even, or your motorbike. Right? This pad in here is super well cushioned. There's no problems there and it's because it's like ventilation things for air not saying in the summer guys obviously with this pressing against your chest you will sweat okay um it's a 1000 d nylon fabric it's water resistant no waterproof okay guys so um you know put a bag over it or or piece of um piece of old gore-tex material or something whatever okay we show you this excellent feature on the front so as you can see guys there's plenty of molly webbing on you plenty you can add loads of stuff to this park on the outside i've got on mine i've got a grenade pouch as you can see in dpm i'll just show you what i got inside mine for, for an idea okay what i've got inside mine guys is a leatherman monty tool Fits in absolutely perfect. I've got a spare car beer. I could put more on. I've got toggles already cut and drilled out. Always handy, guys. Always handy. So as you can see, they just slot in like so. Sorry, guys. I'm leaning over the camera. See? Yeah, I'll get in you. Right. There you go. 
you've got loops here on either side you can add things to the zipper tabs got easy to grip tabs here as well there's a pocket on the outside here I'm just going to show you what I keep in mind guys right obviously you put in whatever you want in yours okay so in my front pouch I got my IFAC okay my individual first aid kit it's basic there's a scissors in there there's a tick remover there's plasters, there's bandage etc there's tablets, aspirins, anodines there's dehydration uh, sachets I've also got some red insulation tape which I use for blazing okay and I've got a marker panel if I do get in trouble and I need to uh, draw attention to where I am hopefully that never happens so there's my IFAC that goes in the front pouch okay going to the main compartment now let me close that up so the main compartment as you can see is ample the room okay where do we start right we start at the back zipper here look so in that compartment there the back I've got my notebook okay pull it out to show you it's in a waterproof pouch so here's my notebook right in the rain pad pen, pencil spare paper spare pens my, uh, sharpie pen so that goes in there okay so that's the back pouch in mine so you go one pouch there you got these loops here so I've got some spare two mil paracord that's usually used for hanging up my pack to the left here I've got a stove so this is kind of emergency pack for me right but I got a stove and three fire dragons gels so that goes in that one on the right hand side I've got my compass with my piercing beads I've done a video on this guys I'll, um, I'll uh, put it up in the card section if you're okay I'd, I wish you'd have a look at it because uh, I could get you out a lot of shit right so that goes in there right. before we come to this compartment now I come to these loops here so we've got a torch always fully charged okay that's my Wuban C2 I'll put a card up for that as well because it's absolutely amazing so that just loops on there see so that's not going anywhere on the left hand side on paracord to the loop I got my emergency whistle I'm not going to blow it now because it'll uh, it draw attention to where we are and we shouldn't be here <laughs> we say less about that right so can, it's on a string it's not going nowhere right so we come to this side now on a cord again I got my bellows so say you're examining down with rain and I'm struggling with the fire I got my homemade bellow there okay that's on a cord so that's not going away that's quite important that is guys and believe it or not this is one of those extension forks that you buy in the pound shop I cut the fork end off I sawed off the end which was sealed so now we can blow straight through it coming across got some toilet roll for the obvious but also excellent tinder let me turn it around the next pocket over I've got 
matches and striker. Old cigar case, more matches. And of course, a full, fullish. Later. Next one over. I got some uh, effervescent tablets. Okay, they're great. They are for you know, if you're sweating a lot, replace some fluids. Okay. There's lots of electrolytes in these as well. I picked them up in Aldi's, as you can see, 89 pence. Then I've got a large ferro rod. Spin it back around with you, sorry guys. So that's on our side. So on this pouch here, there's another zipper. I got a racing spoon. Sorry, that was a pouch the notebook was in. Sorry, guys. Got a bit with me, she guys. I'm getting old now. Right, so we go to this pouch now. This side, okay? So in this pouch here, that's all I've got, guys. Is some protein bars and some flapjacks. Flapjacks. Protein and carbs, okay? And I'll keep you going for 24 hours, no problem. Unless you're greedy, you know what? So that's basically what I keep inside mine, okay? So I'll go back over the prices and things, you know, and the dimensions and the weight, okay? Right, so let's talk about dimensions and the weight, okay? So it's 13 inches across the top, 13 inches lengthways, it's 8.5 inch, inches depth, and it's 2.5, when it's empty, see guys, it's 2.5 inches thick. That's when it's empty, okay? Its weight is 15.1 ounce. So you can wear it where you want, guys, because it's ample strap edge, okay? If you want to wear it around here, you can. I choose to wear mine here, okay? You know, it's easy access. To everything okay I need my multi-tool it's there so that's why I choose to wear mine it's on a shelf system it's not going anywhere guys you're not gonna lose any bits This is what it looks like on guys, right? So that's your profile there. So it's all streamlined with your body. So it is actually tactical, okay? You know, you're not sticking out here. It's in line with your body. It's probably twisted on the back because I haven't got my buddy buddy with me. So that's what it looks like on the back. Like so. When I say it's quick, quick release, guys, okay? That's all it is. Two clips there. And it's off. Okay? That's all it is, look. So they're quite hefty clips as well. I tell you what, guys, there's no, there's no, um, there's no quality, you know, issues with this. It's really, really well made. Impressive guys. It's really impressive. Look the chunky clips, male and female. And you just simply it's as easy as that. I'm just gonna have some scoff now guys.
Let me talk a bit more about the product. Hold on. Here we go. Pasta bolognese for breakfast. Can't beat it. Just a little tip for you guys. I'm not trying to teach you to suck eggs. Put your racing spoon in the water as a sterilization practice, okay? So while that's uh, warming up there now, I'm sterilizing my racing spoon. I never gets washed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's, let's sum it up then about this uh, chest rig. It's affordable. Well designed, they haven't scrimped on, scrimped on quality. It's, it's got your colour, you've got three different choices of colour. And as I say, it's £18.99. There are ones there, guys, right? Perhaps mine's a bit excessive, I know, like, but it just means I don't have to carry so much in my pack. But there are ones there, like. £13.99, which is ample for what you need if you want to use it for an EDC, you know, everyday carry. Fabulous. But I'll put everything down in the description, guys, okay? Check it out. Amazing, guys. I never thought I'd wear a chest rig, I never wore one back in the day, but uh, there's everything in there. You know, there's fire lighting. There's hydration with a few uh, effluent tabs. There's um, this cutting tool with my multi tool, you know, with a saw on it. I got a really thick ferro rod. I got a striker on the, on the multi tool. Carry a multi tool around, guys. I got an extra carabiner that can be used for numerous things. I got cordage. I got extra food in case of emergency. I got signal devices. I got my torch. There's everything in there, guys. So check them out. I'll put everything there for you, right, guys? I hope you like this video. I was going to give it a good, you know, six months before I reviewed it, but everybody's crying out for me to tell them what brand is, how much it costs, etc. So here it is, guys. There's not much more I can tell you, but it, um, I'm well happy with it, guys. Well happy um, yeah, added to your kit, guys. Uh, I can see people on bicycles wearing them, you know, they food in, etc. And they snacks, the water bottle. Check them out, guys. Right, when that's warmed up, now I'm gonna get it on my Gregory Peck. And I'm gonna bug out. Hope you like the video, guys. If there's any questions you think is something I've missed out, please don't hesitate to put down below in the comments, okay? I'll help you as much as I can. That's what my channel is about. That's one thing I, I try to do on my channel, guys, is help people, okay? Help and advise. And if I don't know the questions I'm answered, I'll find out for you. Um, yeah, I pride myself on that, and I also pride myself on answering every comment that's put on there, okay? I'll always comment back. Not everyone does, I do. Okay, I'm not rude and I'm not ignorant. And if I can help you, fantastic, even better. We're on 2,500 subscribers now, guys, by the way. Blown away, absolutely blown away. Couldn't, uh, couldn't have dreamt of that, to be honest. But uh, And I've met some absolutely, not in person, I've met some absolutely kind-hearted people from all around the world um, it's unbelievable guys honest now it's worldwide like I got a new friend in Germany Torsten I got one in Bucharest I've sent him a package out I've sent him a 24 ration pack for him to do a review see his channel is called the crazy equipment channel you gotta check it out right there's no subtitles on there. Obviously, it's like he's living on the border of Russia, right? So, but he demonstrates things so well. 
you pick up tips like a you see what he's doing because he demonstrates everything. I say you can't understand his language, perhaps you can. I can't understand, right? Check him out. The crazy equipment channel. Right, enough waffling for me. Comment down below. Please give me a, th a thumbs up, guys. That's what gets the channel moving. Actually, is the likes. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider because... Even though I haven't got much up-to-date equipment for filming and things, I am trying to put a bit away every week so I can get better equipment, okay, for the filming. You know, you got to do what you can. I try just doing it on my mobile phone with a tripod. Thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you on the outside. Tank out.